here we are, neighborhood garage. Old buddy of ours, Richard Hicks, and I don't know where in the heck old Hickby is. Where is he, Richard? He Bam. Oh, what is that? Tricky. Just like that. Maybe star. Look at here. Hey, only Richard Hicks would have an elevator in the shop. Ain't this cool? It is cool. So I'm really excited to be here today at Richard's. I've known you for what, 30 plus years? 30 plus. Uh, he was, uh, I think you had me for uh, Boy Scouts, uh, baseball or basketball. Yep. Um, super guy, privileged to be here today. What do you think of this truck, Mike? Dude, <laughs> I mean, this thing is really, really nice. I mean, red. Can't go wrong with red. Can't go wrong with red. But this dude only runs green tractors, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but red is color. I got some buddies that are green and got some buddies that are all red. It's whatever, but. So, uh, what would you like to show us on this old truck today? What do you want to start on? Well, with? it's come a long ways for sure. It's a slightly modified 65, and it's, it's uh, had a lot of work done to it, for sure. I've had some very talented, good buddies help me out along the way, for sure. Without them, this uh, wouldn't be wouldn't be here, but it's uh, turned out to be a good project, for sure. So, how long have you been driving this now? About oh, my. What do you think? Three, three years? Three years. It's my everyday work truck, and also we plan to hit all 50 states, or 49 of them. It's going to Alaska next year. Uh, it's been to Washington, D.C., Montana, Florida, uh, the Dakotas. Uh, we're probably about halfway on our quest of hitting. We got pictures of every state line, and uh, <laughs> it's cool. got a little book made up, and it's That's been awesome. awesome. Yeah, so, at any rate, we started out with a uh, modern day chassis because we wanted a comfortable ride, something that we could put, you know, 100, 150,000 miles on, to pin on it every day. And it me put a LS1 underneath the hood. Oh. It's got all the uh, amenities of a modern day truck. It's got uh, Electric seats, uh, electric windows, tilt wheel, power windows, power windows, cruise control, uh -huh. uh, tilt wheel, good, tilt wheel, good air system. Let's uh, let's talk about that cruise control for a minute. Oh my, yeah. Because when Richard brought me this project, I didn't paint the truck, but I had a lot to do with the running gear on it. Yeah, and then he said, uh, Michael, I want cruise, cruise control. control, and I said, Richard, there ain't no way. He's like, What do you mean? I said, Richard. It's a 65 truck, 85 column, you know, uh, 2001 motor. I'm like, no way. He says, don't call me until it's got cruise control on it. That's a fact. So, about oh, 10, 11 hours in this cruise control deal, I got it, and uh, Richard comes out the truck. I knew you could do it. <laughs> hey, it wouldn't have died in my mind. I don't want to interrupt at all, but hey, am I right, but... Doesn't it have a Duramax running here under this truck? Yes, it does. Oh. It's got a little diesel action. Yeah, right I mean, right? <laughs> Duramax, eight lug, modern, yep. disc brakes, front and rear even? Yep. yep. Oh, good driver. Yeah, yeah. Good driver. It's very comfortable to drive. You can get in there and make a road trip, and it's just... Uh, but your wife fun. likes to go on as well, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is our luggage holder right here. My toolbox is actually lays down and rolls out the back. But uh, yeah, yeah, we we well, I knocked on the door sixty thousand miles. Sixty thousand. Well, it don't awesome. sit much, does it? You get in there and turn mm -hmm. the key every time. You know, you roll. So yeah, it's been a real joy. Uh, uh, it's uh, we're real proud of the project. It turned out real nice. Yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful truck. Well, let's Thank start uh, checking this thing out. Where would you like to start at? Underneath the hood, or well, you know, inside, or yeah, it doesn't matter. Here, come on over here. Let's check out the inside first. Just roll right on in here. So checking out the inside of this truck, we was talking about his wife traveling. Looky here, she's got a little makeup mirror. Little vanity mirror. Yeah. And uh, cool, got the uh, nice updated uh, radio. Hey, Richard, is that, uh, got XM radio as well? Yes, XM radio. XM yeah. radio. Yeah. Hey, this sucker, the power windows even work. I mean, oh, yeah. 
And uh, power seeds. I've got seeds oh, up yeah. and down, back and forth. Now, Lump what are those out of? Like a Duramax or lumbar. something? Lumbar. Was it yeah. on that truck too? Yep. Yeah. Okay, yes, cool. And just reupholster. I noticed the console was out of a Duramax, so. Yeah. So this yeah. truck here is old school with new technology. All right. Tilt wheel. And here's the cruise control. Uh, excellent uh, heat and air system. Uh, nice gauges. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have, uh, about the only thing we're missing is heated seats. Uh, I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting about, but it's Richard, got all, every, all the things of a modern day truck. Richard, looks like you got plenty of cheaters up there just in yeah, case. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You gotta have them glasses. Oh yeah, yeah you've got a visor, working visor there. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Hey, you can check your hair, can't you, Richard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here, uh, dome light, yeah. back slider. Love yeah. it, yeah. love it. Hey, uh, show me the full wheel drive line on this thing. Don't we get an indicator whenever you put it in full wheel? It's right here. So when you pull the stick back, that lights up? Exactly. Let me turn the key on. How about that? There you Boom. go. And he wanted them red. That's right, red. <laughs> you know when and when it's not in full wheel. That's right. Now, we've got LED lighting front and back. Uh, we mentioned before, LS1 underneath the hood. Oh, and look at that uh, park brake. Instead of the, a foot, you got a grab handle down there. That'd be correct. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. That's old school right there. So we just incorporated the old and the new together. And uh, come the, out awesome. It, yeah, the project turned out good. Uh, transferring the, uh, getting the old to marry with the new. We did some pretty unique things, and that worked out good, and it was just a good project. Oh, well, hey, was, let's, you want to check out a, the motor? Absolutely. Maybe? So, uh, a couple of unique things, because uh, we're not much of one to follow the tribe. We like to kind of just make our own rules and go our own way. Uh, sometimes that's a real curse, but <laughs> nevertheless, you got to live with what you got to live with. But you got, hey, it's always nice to have something different, though, isn't it? Well, that's what I, that's what I like. I don't like, you know, having something that everybody else has got. I want to <coughs> roll down the road. We've got something that Different. nobody else got. And I had a fellow tell me, yeah, i got a buddy that's got a front end just like that. I said, no, <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Well, one of the things he's talking about, come check this out. Right here, he's got a square headlight instead of the round one. It's LED. LED, and uh, they made a custom... Uh, fixture to hold it there and uh, put in the Chevy symbol. Pretty nice job. Yeah, he Larry did me a hell That's of a obviously moment. stainless. Yes. Yep. Yep. Tow yeah. hooks, LED lights. And then uh, another unique thing about the looks is uh, got really the mid 60s Chevrolet's pickup. They've got blinkers right here. And ours is now like a mid 80s yep. back behind the grill. It's like 85 Chevy kind of light. Exactly. Looks great. Right on. So, from front to back, we did, you know, not over the top customized, but enough to make it uh, make apart it your own. from what else is out there. So, a little bit out, Paul. Just a little, little different. Bit, a little bit. So, let's, let's roll into this. Pop the hood. Got a little chrome. Well, yep, it's got a little dirt on it because it's a driver. It's a driver. It's not a show truck. It's uh, definitely a driver, and that's what we do. It rolls every day. Checking out this uh, LS motor, LS power. Uh, put the nice cover on it like off of the Denali. And uh, we was talking earlier about the cruise control. Here's the cruise control box. And uh, it has a cable that runs down to the throttle. Mounted the computer here on the inner fender well. I've got a, we made a standalone uh, wiring harness, and the, so this is the relays and the, the fuses right here. Just uh, tried to make it as clean as we could, but with new technology, there's a lot of wiring. Well, I like the hard piping of the radiator. That you was, know. Yeah, that was Richard's idea. Of course, he wanted it red, but 60,000 miles later, you know, it's got a little patina on it. Driver, dude. I like the, the dual intake. Dig yeah, it. We, we done that to take up some space, kind of give it a little cooler look under the hood. It's got a nice radiator, uh, dual fans. Oh, yeah, dual Everything's fans. Everything's wired up on this thing where you just turn the key and go. There ain't no flipping a bunch of switches. Whenever it gets up to temperature, the fans kick on and off as they should. Put uh, aftermarket air conditioning on it. 
Um, Siren for the alarm. Got to have the alarm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's for the grandkids, isn't it, Richard? Well, actually, it's got an alarm system on it. The, the truck does. So this but, has uh, a... this one's for the grandkids, the animals, and all that. Kind of <laughs> Does it got a General Lee on it? Yeah, it's got the whole deal. Oh <laughs> boy, I love it. So with that being said, this truck's got remote start and alarm. Remote and all start, it. yeah. Yep. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So uh, walking around this truck, we won't look at it, Mike. Well, I mean, we were talking about the red and the green deal. Right, well, it's green. always a fight. Red and green, blue, orange, oh, I won't green. say much more, but hey, they're all awesome in my eyes on them tractors. But regardless, Kyle looks like an international red. What is that? Oh, oh my. I don't think it's international. <laughs> 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 I, I, I think it's Hicks red. Well, well, that would be fighting words. <laughs> just kidding. I was just kidding, Richard. I know that they come up with this red and y'all call it Hicks red. That's what everybody calls it. I was just throwing that in. And I figured you'd dig that. Oh my! <laughs> Don't hate me now because of it. But I, you know, I notice is the weather stripping. Hood trim in between. Door I mean, these old trucks—they didn't have the technology back then. So, typically speaking, uh, for long drives and stuff like that, you know, you got that noise factor. So we insulated the cab. Top, bottom, doors, everywhere that we could cut back just a little bit on noise to make it comfortable. as comfortable as possible. Because I don't know, I mean, typically, you know, in my mind, I've had a mindset of getting like 150 to 200,000 miles on this truck. At and least, if you already got 60. Least, yeah, yeah. You're putting 30,000, that's 20,000 miles a year already on this. So and I, I like comfort, so we concentrated a lot in that area. You know, the ride, uh, insulation, noise, I mean, everything. Right. You know. well, awesome. And with that being said, on the motor, you know, we freshened it, done the tranny, put a shift kit in it for pulling stuff, and uh, wanted to be simple with the transfer case, you know, the shifter and the floor, you know, got all electronics to go bad. Yep. Just to make it really good and functional. There you go. Yeah. So, hey, how you turn these LEDs on? We got to see yeah. these things lit yeah. up, baby. Yeah, light them up. That's got to be cool. Wow, those are cool. Brights, dims. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty bright. So, walking around this truck. Richard, these trucks didn't come out with uh, windshield washers of 65. No. no <laughs> I say you got that, those. Well, not that I know of. I mean, it's possible, but I, I don't know of it. And it does have intermittent wipers because uh, Richard showed up one day with a switch and a bunch of wiring, and we went to work. Yep. So it's got 8 to 10 speeds plus for the wipers alone. Wow. Yep. No low, high only. No. It's low, it ain't medium, no medium, low, low, medium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Mike, this thing's got nice 20 inch wheels on it, huh? I mean 20s. I like the red on the hubcaps. Not like details. Yeah, the red, you know, letters on the hubcaps and the lug nuts. It's got to look cool going down the road. See the red here? Oh, yeah. yeah. The custom and the. Yeah, yeah that's cool. On the custom. That's cool. That's cool. Hicks red. Hicks red. Hicks red. Now you get an angle of it. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Check this out. Pretty sweet. Details. So Richard, uh, what's this tank back here for? Are you filling up your fuel equipment up at home jobs? Yep, yep. This is diesel here, and like I mentioned earlier, this is the older luggage. This is all nice and clean in there. Here's the uh, where we uh, fill up with the the fuel. The original was right here back behind the cab, and this used to be where you would fill it up back in the '60s. Now you ain't got that yucky gas smell in the cab. Well, that's true, and Obviously, a lot more safer with it being, you know, underneath here. Did it give you any more room at all, Richard? Oh, a little yeah, bit? sure. Seat sure. room, obviously. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then back here, we've got a 13 gallon reserve, and you activate it by this uh, lever right here. So when you're out traveling, you don't ever always know where your next uh, gas station is going to be. So that just kind of gives you a peace of mind that you know, no matter what, you've got. 12 gallons sitting here in reserve. 
That's and awesome. Well, let's get it, closer. Look at that. Let's open this up, Richard. It really uh, adds to the peace of mind of the trip, you know. So this is old school here. And then right here is the toolbox. That is, that is what I'm talking here, about. This is the emergency over here. Fire extinguishers, chains, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so that you got cards in the middle. That, is it all tools? Pretty much. It's all tools. Right on. Ready to go. Well, you know, and then your typical toolbox. Typical extra stuff. Stuff, you know. Just, you know, whatever, guys. <laughs> Where'd you get that thing anyway? That'd be a good buddy of mine give that to me. <laughs> Looks like that's been in the back of a Suburban or something. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. My buddy Higby said, hey, come up here. I got something I think you'd be interested in taking home. And he wow. showed me. I said, oh, yeah, I'm all about that. <laughs> so we definitely use that, It's huh? been wonderful. I absolutely love it. It's completely, I've never had moisture, you know, ever get in it. Then, so like if we're traveling, uh, and then I want to uh, lock these up at night, then I got these two locks, two of, uh, you know, one does two boxes. Right there, there boom, go. right here, boom, and you're locked Shut up. Shut the tailgate, you're locked up. Yeah, and we take everything out of there, so, you know, it uh, don't matter, you know, they can come and go at will, and it doesn't matter, because everything is secure. Right. So yeah, it's, and then here's a uh, LED lighting, uh, the backup, backup, backup lights. lights, the whole deal. Sweet. And as you can see, it's a it's a work truck. I yep. mean, it's a. Uh, you use it. Yeah, yeah, that's just the way it rolls. And then back here, you've got uh, put an aftermarket receiver on it, and yep. uh, we put some airbags on this truck. Yep. And uh, you can air them up right here, Mike, and Wonderful. let it down. Yep, yep. You got a heavy trailer, shoot a little air to that dude, level your load, you know, level your truck. Dual exhaust out the back. Yep. Makes it safe. Yeah. Yep. yep. Trailer plug, everything's nice and clean, tucked in. Looks great. That's what was nice about putting it on that three-quarter ton frame, see? It brought everything up. Yeah, that's true. And it made it so much usable. So well, more usable for you, huh? I think that's why... This ladder's in the back, you know. It brought the old truck up. Yeah, it <laughs> up a little bit. It's got a right, really nice ride height to it. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I, uh, I, I like the height. We worked. It was, you know, like a lot of projects on these old rigs. You know, on the on site, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that big a deal. Uh, this girl here, before we got it going, everybody called her the bitch. Because nothing came easy. And I can right. attest to that. I mean, that, nothing. There's you nothing can't. bolt on on this truck. All right, it's all well, custom, just about. This is simple, and now nothing was ever simple. You should, yeah. So you call to her, everybody's got different deals. So what's her name? Bitch. It's still the bitch. <laughs> yeah. I guess we didn't, I haven't called her that in a lot of a couple of years. So, But for, certainly for the first year of build, Rick. she was definitely the bitch. <laughs> Richard Higgs' bitch right the there. Bitch. <laughs> right on. But yeah, I actually haven't called the old gal that in a while. I guess I need to come up with another name now, I guess. Maybe, it's a, uh, because it's a... Because I've had... It's a really nice truck. You yes. know, almost 60,000 dependable miles now, so I guess it's time for me to get over that. So there you go. You're going to have to rename it. I'm going to have to rename it. Yeah, so maybe think we'll about that. let the audience vote on that or something. Yeah, yeah so we, we could do comments. that. We could. Hey, well, absolutely. What are we going to name Richard 65? There you go. So underneath here, you can see the mounts that we had to come okay. up with to marry the old and the new together. Just turned out wonderful. And actually it wasn't too bad. And then also, while we're down here on this subject here, see this, this chassis was a crew cab, so we had to take a foot and a half out of the chassis, uh, you know, to make the lanes right. And this being our first project ever, there was a couple of pretty nervous moments. You're trying to measure and figure things out and hope that you're doing things right. Measure twice and cut once, huh? So yeah. what you're saying also is, is getting the uh, wheelbase right, where the wheels are nice and centered, where they're supposed to be. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. It, it was a little bit of a challenge, but it all worked out, you know, relatively pretty good on that end. And then it, it, things got uh, tougher from there, for sure. At any rate, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to 
thank some real special buddies that just did an outstanding job. Uh, Greg and Marshfield did the paint and the body work. Higby did all the drivetrain. I just had a lot of good buddies that are very, very talented. I wish I was more talented, but uh, it just ain't there for me. But at any rate, uh, just want to take this time to thank them for putting together this great project for me. We've really enjoyed it. You're welcome, Richard. It was a little rough at first, but it turned out great. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a really, really, really nice truck. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. Sure. And I, I have to add something. I started dealing with Richard way back in the day, and he always had these different vehicles, and we helped you work on things back in the day, and we still do, and still do business together. And to, to the joy of seeing him driving this 65 down the road, he'll get in that before he gets in his new truck. It's right. just, it's awesome. It's awesome. Well, the what's funny about it is you just be driving through town, you know, and then here goes Richard going by, yeah. or you'd be on the interstate, and then there goes, Boom. and you can't miss it. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, well, thank you guys. You're I welcome. appreciate that. And like we mentioned a minute ago, you know, he used to call us the bitch because it gave him a lot of trouble in the beginning, but uh, it's earned it and it needs a new name. So yeah. send us it your does. comments. Yeah. You know, what's your thoughts on a name for this truck? And the winner gets to ride in the truck. There you go. Maybe you can talk him into some ice cream or something. There you go. <laughs> right. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll pick the top few and let somebody vote on them or something. Or we'll figure or it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> something. Sounds like a plan. So uh, you guys coming out. Check us out on Instagram and also we got a website, Mike's Neighborhood Garage.com, and uh, like it and share it on Facebook. That's right. And hey, check us out next time on uh, Neighborhood Garage.